Hey friend, hey guys. Peace. Can you take your hands like this and slap them together? Now I want you to rub them as fast as you can. Hard and as fast as you can. Keep rubbing, keep rubbing, keep rubbing. Ugh. Push them together. If you're rubbing like I'm rubbing, it's starting to hurt. It's starting to get really warm and there's friction and it's making my hands sore a little bit. If I kept rubbing, I would have blisters all over my hands. Now I want you to think about friction and fighting and how a lot of times around the world there are people, that there's maybe two or two groups of people or different countries or all kinds of things and they rub against each other the wrong way and they just keep rubbing and there's friction and just there's a lot of blisters and heartache and things that happen when peace doesn't rule in people's hearts and lives. So now look at my hands. Now if I kept rubbing and rubbing and rubbing, it would be even more blisters and soreness. Matthew 5, 9. Matthew chapter 5, verse 9. Remember, Jesus tells us in the Beatitudes, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. People who know Jesus and love Jesus are peacemakers. They're not the ones starting fights and being ugly to people. They're the ones that are helping. They're helping people to understand that we don't need to do those things. So when I think of God and peace, I think of the balm of Gilead. The balm of Gilead. God, Jesus, is talked about in the Bible as the balm of Gilead. And back in the time when those words were used in the Old Testament scripture, that was actually a rare perfume they used as like medicine to help heal wounds. So they would take the balm of Gilead. They just named it that because of the region it was taken from. It was taken from Gilead. And they would take that balm and they would rub it all over wounds and sores. And it's like a healing agent. It's a medicine for them back in that time. So now look in your cabinet. You might have some lotion some medicine ointments or something. I grabbed this out of my cabinet. I'm not promoting this kind of brand, but it says on here, 24 hour moisture. And if you keep reading on here, there's all kinds of things it says it can do. It awakens your senses and it helps with cracked and dry skin and helps heal your skin, all of these things. Now if I take a little bit of this lotion and put it on my hands and I rub them together after having all that friction and that ow, right? If I do that, it feels a little bit better. It feels a little bit better, but it wouldn't heal me completely. It might smell good, it might seem okay for a while, but even on that, it even advertises it's only 24 hours. So how do we live our lives as peacemakers, and how can we really help people to know that they don't have to be ugly to each other, and rub against each other, and be mean to each other? In this generation, this time in history that we are getting to live, there's a lot of people being ugly to other people. So there are healing power to be found. There's healing power to be found in Jesus. Now, Christmas is coming. It's almost here. And when we look at Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6, Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6, this is one of my favorite scriptures that we think of when we think of Christmas. I want you to hear this. Are you guys listening? For unto us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Jesus is our Prince of Peace. He is our Balm of Gilead, much better than any lotion could ever give us. He's the one who coats our lives and coats our hearts when we're hurt. And he heals us. He restores us. He is a God of restoration and a God of peace. He doesn't want us to be mean to each other or hitting each other, crashing into each other, or being ugly to each other. Think about the solar system and how all the planets turn in different ways. He has cycles and systems and order because he loves us. He wants us to be peaceful. And he wants us as children to be peacemakers. What would we call children of God? So if you know someone that's a peaceful person truly, and they love Jesus, that's what God really wants us to be like, and that's what he wants from us. 
So I pray this season that you know Jesus as your personal Savior. Know that he came on planet Earth to be your Savior and to be your balm of Gilead, to heal you, to restore you, to help you in every way of your life. He's the Prince of Peace. So I'll see you guys next week. Bye.